Are you using Notion, but you quickly get lost in a mass of dashboards, databases, and pages? Well, don't worry. This week, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create your own navigation bar so that you can quickly and easily get around your workspace. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy Gort, a real estate investor and coach. I'm here to help you systemize your real estate business so that you can free up time to focus on what's most important to you. This week, I'm gonna be focusing on three key Notion features, links to pages, synced blocks, and formatting options, so that you can create a navigation bar to bring consistency to your pages, easily and quickly make changes, and become more efficient. Plus, if you wait until the end, I've also got a bonus advanced tip on how to go and use links to blocks. So do stay to the end. Timestamps to each of the sections are down below in the description if you do want to hop about. And how are you currently getting around your Notion workspace? Is it with synced blocks? Do you use the sidebar or something else? I'd love to hear, so do let me know in the comments below. But other than that, let's get going with the video. So I'm currently here in my real estate OS Notion workspace. And you can see at the top here that I've got each of these different uh, areas uh, or headings, and each of these is a clickable link. So I'm currently here on the homepage, but if I click on contacts, it will change the page, uh, investors, deals. So it's going to all these different pages, um, but we've got a consistent menu here at the top, which makes it really uh, efficient to go and switch between different pages. Um, and it provides a little bit of consistency across each of these pages too. Um, by the way, if you do want to go and try out my Real Estate OS CRM uh, Notion workspace, I'll leave a uh, link in the description below and you can go and download it and try it out for yourself for free. So I'm currently here in a test workspace and uh, I'll show you how to build out this simple menu first. Um, so uh, if you press forward slash uh, in Notion and then we get the uh, menu come up and then just type synced. Um, you can see that we've got a few things at the top, but if we just uh, scroll down, we've got advanced blocks, which is a synced block. So if you just tap on that one, uh, and then we get this uh, outline here and a box in between. And what we're gonna do is put each of the labels for each of our pages in here. So very straightforward. If you just um, type home, and then pr you can lay it out how you want. So after home, I'm gonna go and press space bar three times. So one, two, three, and then I'm gonna press uh, on my keyboard to get this sort of um, space align, um, which is just by the uh, comma. Uh, and then again, press one, two, three, and then I'm gonna type the next section, which is gonna be properties. And then again, just press one, two, three, and press the uh, space align again. And I'm gonna do that for all of the other sections. So I've now completed uh, all of the labels. So those are all lined up here, um, but clearly these don't do anything. Uh, they're just uh, text. So now what we need to do is go and add the links to each of these labels. So if I start off with the home um, label first, we're currently here on the home page, and for every page in Notion, there's a link to the page. So if I go to the top right here, we've got the three dots. So if I just click that one, we've actually got a copy link function here in the menu. And uh, I can either click that one or use the uh, Command plus L on my keyboard. So if I just go and click on that one, we can see that it's copied a link to the current page. Now if I just double click home, just to select it, if I just press the Command V, so paste on my keyboard, it will paste the link over the top. And if I hover, you can now see that it's saying it's going to the home page. Now, because I'm already on the home page, it won't do anything. So let's do the next one, which is properties. So either I can go into properties and I can do the same thing, but even easier, if I just click the six dots, so click those and then click the copy link here, just click that. Again, double click on properties and then click paste and it's gone and pasted that link over the top of the text. So now, if I click on it, it takes us to the properties page, and then I can just go back again. Uh, let me show you one more. So the next one is deals. So again, I've got the deals page here. So click the six dots, uh, click copy link, double click on the deals text, and then press paste on my keyboard. And that's pasted the link over the top. So I'm just gonna go and do uh, the other sections um, as well, the same way. Great, so now we have each of our sections. So if I click on these, that'll take me to the power team. Uh, and then if I go to archive, it takes me to the archive page. Um, so firstly, that's how we create our navigation. Um, but unlike the example I showed you earlier, this is only currently on one page. So let me quickly show you how to apply that to all the other ones. So if I click within this, uh, what's called a synced block, on the right hand side, it's got copy and sync. And basically this is gonna take the information that we've got within the synced block and we can go and put it somewhere else. So I'm just gonna click on copy and sync. And then let's go to the properties page. 
Uh, I'm just going to go and put it at the very top. So make a little bit of room and then just go and press paste on my keyboard. So again, let's just press Command and V. And you can see we've now pasted exactly the same layout. And this is going to function exactly the same way. So if I go to deals, um, it's then taking us to the deals page. Again, uh, if I press return, so we're at the top of the page, press Command and V on my keyboard. And we're basically just duplicating on each of these pages the same layout, so the same navigation bar. So I'll quickly do it on the last uh, two pages. So we've got Power Team, uh, Contacts, and then Archive. Great, so now I've got a menu bar and I can hop around on every page and every page has got the same menu bar um, at the top. So how cool is that? But what's even better is that if I make a change in any of these pages to this synced um, bar at the top, navigation bar, it will be replicated across everywhere where this appears. So for example, let's say that rather than um, properties, I wanted to change that label. Let's change that to uh, property. So let's just say it's one. So I literally just go and change the link uh, title and click off it. So it's still a link. So if I just click into it, it will take us to the properties page. There we go. Um, but you can see that at the top, the menu label has now changed. If let's go to the contacts again, it's now property, not properties. Um, or if I click on archive, so it's replicated that one change across all of these pages. Let's say also just for uh, neatness, we wanted to have a space um, before any of the content of a page. So again, I can go into the sync block and just put a return. So you can see that now below the menu um, navigation bar, we've got a space. But in every one of these pages, it's put that space in. Um, so it's little things we could underneath here. Let's just put, say, um, a little um, um, bar as well. So again, I've just gone and put that into uh, the properties page and that's now replicated everywhere else. So this is really, really powerful. Um, it works really, really well. Um, very, very simple. Um, and that's how you can go and do it. I'm just going to remove that. Uh, so that's how you can create a simple navigation bar at the top of your pages. But taking it a step further, um, we can also go and format it. So for example, let's say I wanted to go and make the investors text a different color. So I can just go and select it. Then we've got the A, let's go and say, let's make this um, blue text. Um, and then we could say that our property here, let's make this a red text. Uh, and then we could say that our archive, um, let's go and put that at uh, gray because it's our archive. And so that's changed the text color here. But then if we also again, click through, you can see that the colors are reflected because this is a synced block. Um, so uh, that's one way you can format, but we can also use emojis. So let's say that rather than the word property, let's say that we wanted to use the house emoji instead. So if I just delete that word, and if you press control command space on your spacebar on a Mac, not sure what it is on Windows, it'll actually bring up the emoji picker. So if I now just type house, and then we've got all of these different house um, emojis. So I'm gonna click this one with a tree. Great, and so that's appeared. But again, this isn't clickable. So we need to do exactly the same as we did last time. So if I just go to properties here, click on the six dots and uh, copy link. And then let me just go and uh, select that one emoji and press command V on my keyboard. Again, pasting that link over the top. And you can just see there's a little line underneath it. It's now got a hyperlink and I can even just click that emoji to do the same thing. And the emoji is now in the menu rather than the word. So that's how to create a basic uh, navigation bar. You could also do this um, in a vertical format. Um, so for example, let me just go and you could just put a couple of returns in. Um, so I could go and maybe lay it out <clears throat> like this, just down the left-hand side of the page. Um, we'd obviously get rid of the spaces, um, but perhaps you may want to have a, uh, a, a um, vertical menu. Um, so we could do it like that instead. Um, so it's really, really flexible. Again, when we'll just click through, you can see it's reflected in all of the other pages. Um, so that's how you can create um, a clickable, simple navigation bar or navigation list. I hope you're finding this video useful. If you are, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. So I mentioned at the start of the video about an advanced bonus way of creating a more advanced uh, navigation menu. Um, and I've got it here um, to go and show you first. And as well as using uh, labels at the top and a sync block, it also uses toggles. Um, so for those of you who don't know what a toggle is, um, if you just go and press the forward slash as usual in Notion and then type toggle, T-O-G, uh, you can create a toggle list. 
um, and within this you can then put various options. So for example, if I go and show you in the menu, um, here we've got properties, and if I just click the toggle, we've then got links underneath. <clears throat> But these links are not to pages, they're actually to blocks. So let me show you what this uh, what this is like. So the properties will take us to the properties page. So I can just click on that one. And that's using the same um, method that we did in the uh, previous section. But now underneath, we've got house one, house two, house three. And these have got links to blocks, not links to pages. So if I click on house three, it actually goes down the page and it takes us to this house three block. So let me show you again. If I then, uh, I'm at the top, and if I click on house two, it then goes down to this house two block that I've selected. So let me show you how to do this. So um, within our sync block, um, we've got here properties and we've got the three properties. So if I go and add another property down here as an example, so house four, um, and then let's add a line and then uh, example text. And then within our menu, we've got house one, two, and three. So if I just press return here, and add in house four. Um, and this is the same as last time, so we're going, going to want to go and paste a link over the top of it. But rather than going to a link to the page, we want a link to the block. So if I scroll down, um, we've got here house four, and again, we've got the six dots. So if I click on that, it's actually got a copied link to block. So this isn't to the whole page, it's just to that block. So if I click that one, scroll back up to the top, and then go and drag over the top of house four and press um, paste, so uh, command V. Um, now that's got a link to that specific block. And if I click on it, it takes us down to that bottom block. Um, so if you wanted to create more advanced menus, perhaps you've got really, really long pages. Um, and within your navigation, you want to quickly jump to specific areas of those pages. Uh, this is a really, really cool way that you can go and use uh, the link to block not just the link to um, page. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you'd like to know more about how you can use Notion in your real estate business, then check out this playlist here that's got loads more videos on the various ways that you can use Notion. But other than that, thank you so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.